Hello everybody, welcome back to Man of the Draft. Today, wonderful idea for two reasons. One, because it is very simple for me to see players that do and do not have abilities. I don't have to go to the internet. And two, because I'm just very interested. Normally, I always try to prioritize abilities and X Factor, stuff like that to get line chemistry. So, really curious to see what kind of team we could put together with none of those. Also, I went to play now and the game didn't crash. So we're already off to a good start. I'm gonna go ahead and randomize the team. We get Colorado, who I feel like we just used, but it's random. Fog of War, no. Jabroni, definitely no. And player morale, I always, this one's a toss up. I'm not sure which way to go. We'll turn it off though. Okay, today's the day I nail it. I am getting the draft pick number and it is gonna be number 18. You heard it here first. Let's go. Just show me. That is a sick and twisted joke, NHL 23. I'm almost kind of happy I didn't get it though, because you guys definitely would have thought I faked that, which I promise you I'm not going to go through the effort to go back, re-say what I'm saying, and then go back in until I get it right. No shot I have the time for that. I wonder who the best player is that doesn't have abilities. It's probably a goalie, but maybe not. Well, let's find out. Oh, the first player I came across with no abilities is Brent Burns. So... This draft is gonna do poorly. And Carter Hart, Katahat, the first goalie, and he's 87 overall as well. Oh no. We also got Philip Ronick, who coincidentally is also a right defenseman with our first pick in the draft philip ronick 87 overall let's go team's gonna be nasty what's with all these 87 overall right defenders not having abilities there we go a left defenseman with no abilities thank you hampus lindholm i guess we'll take heart now might as well valerina chushkin thank you 87 overall no abilities he's gonna be our very first forward. Obviously, I'm going to go with Brent Burns as well. Kind of have to. I think Nachushkin's actually a right winger, even though he shoots left. So we could go with Jeff Skinner, a sniper. I don't know what player type Nachushkin is, but let's go with Jeff anyway, just for the fun of it. Braden Shen or Kachur. Shen has 81 faceoffs. He could be our first line center, sure. Let's go! Yeah, you know what? Completely turned it around here. Our team is going to be first in the league. You... Heard it here first. You know what? Maybe we won't be that bad. We'll find out. David Krejci. He's eligible. Never mind. I am being genuine this time when I say we're going to be sick. 87 face-offs for Vinny. That is a contract if I've ever seen one. Maybe not. Guess I am not taking him after all. Some of the menus in this game feel so unresponsive, but I digress. Let's take Alex. He has no abilities. Four million dollars. And next pick, I am taking Krejci. Jordan Everly to be a second line right winger. He could probably score some goals, no? Yeah. I almost can't believe he's 32 already. I remember that junior's goal like it was yesterday. Trevor Moore to be a third line right winger is very, very tempting. In fact, it is so tempting that I am going to make the pick. Our cap space diminished super quick. We have $16 million left. We still have quite a few players. With that being said, I'm taking Jamie Alexiak. Not a cap-friendly pick whatsoever, but what's done is done. Didn't wall sim really well for me last time I drafted him? I want to say yes, so I'm going to give the kid another shot. It is time to build our fourth line. What better way to start it off than with Ryan Reeves? Four and a half star physicality, 75 discipline, that's not too bad. All right, Jonah, never drafted you before. There's a first for everything. And Luke Lindenning can be the centerman on that line with 90 face-offs. You simply cannot go wrong. See what I mean? This draft is so easy. I'm flying through this thing. Thank you, whoever made this suggestion. Nico Mikola. Left defenseman, defensive defenseman. Okay, so we just need a right-handed defenseman who is not a defensive defenseman. I said that word way too many times in a short span. It doesn't even sound like a real word anymore. I am the king of drafting the wrong defenseman, so I'm just going to double check here. Right, left, right, left, left. So yeah, we do need a right-handed defenseman for real this time. Ooh, Riley, so close, but you're a defensive defenseman. Gotta say no. Let's go with Marcus Bjork. Two-way defender, right-handed. Team is... 
done. So there's our roster. It looks really weird with Philip Ronick being our first pick, but maybe we'll have some line chemistry. Maybe we won't. I have no idea what to expect with this team. Part of me really wants to say they're going to be bad. And then another part of me thinks that they're just going to be a dark horse in the league and somehow be really good. Edit lines. Just don't show me negatives. Okay, I will accept that. Head coach, edit lines, jabroni. Even though I'm probably going to use you to best lines in a minute. Let's go to the roster moves real quick. Just to make sure that there's no one up here that shouldn't be. Okay, I kind of doubt they were getting in the lineup anyway, but... See ya. So they want Trocek as the third line center. Krejci as second line. You know what? I'm on board with that. Because he's insane. Our first line is Jeff Skinner, Braden Shen, and Valerie Nichushkin. Oh dear. Defensively, that simply will not do. Yeah, I'm gonna move Hronik up and have these two here. Tempting, but no. The line chemistry isn't there. The overalls are not there. 43 wins. We're gonna do good. So go ahead, make your prediction now, looking at the roster. Do you think we're gonna be a dark horse, or do you think that we're just gonna suck? Gonna sim up to the trade deadline as we do. Maybe there will be some players available we could go after. Uh, actually, you know what? Usually it's like 86 overall players at the deadline, so yeah. Okay, we had a rough start, but we're bringing it back here a little bit. That loss to the Caps is kind of devastating. Oh dear. Come on, let's start stringing together some dubs. Almost. So close. Okay, we're cooking. Four, stri five straight wins? No idea what happened against the Leafs. Probably an L. I feel like my English in that last sentence didn't even make sense. Again, it could just be the headphones, but it just feels like my words aren't coming out properly. Ah, uh, they had me in the first half, not gonna lie. Thought we were doing good for a second there. And then we just fell off. We have 29 wins at the deadline. I'm gonna set us to be a buyer, and I'm gonna enter the deadline... Is there anyone that we could acquire? He might not have abilities? Nope, he does. Darnell Nurse, honestly, wouldn't even really fit into our defensive core. So, that's gonna be a pass. Well, maybe, but I don't think it would really help us that much. Let's just stick with the team we have. Who knows, maybe we'll go on a post-trade deadline run. We're the ones to acquire Troy Terre. They also get Calvin DeHaan and two-fifths in exchange for Brant Clark and LaRue. Butchered that name. Seventh in the division. 29, 27, and 4. So it's not impossible. We could do it, but... It's unlikely. Let's aim to finish above 500. That could be our goal. And... Playoffs are just a distant dream. Keep going! Don't you dare- Come on! You really got my hopes up again. This game is so cruel. I probably should be used to it by now. But... I'm not. Actually, that's not true. Sometimes I'm like, mm, Not getting my hopes up. This game does me dirty too often, so not sure why that changed in this video. Maybe I wanted to believe we had a chance. The Seattle Kraken go on to win the Stanley Cup. The Hershey Bears are your Calder Cup champions. Let's go look at some stats. I'm actually speechless. I don't know what to say. This guy is unbelievable. Your President's Trophy winners are the Winnipeg Jets. They had Matthews playing with Caulfield and Terry. Yeah, that Terry acquisition probably did wonders for them. Besser, Verhage, and Hagel. Really good team. Freddie and Nett. John Carlson and Provorov. How did they get all these players? Wait, where are we? I missed us somewhere along the line. Ah, 21st. Okay. 41, 36, and 5. So, we finished exactly 500. The Carolina Hurricanes managed to squeak in at 19. And the 41 win Seattle Kraken with 10 overtime losses. Hold on. How many wins did we have? That's just rude. See, what have I been telling you guys? Overtime losses are massive. So they had Landeskog playing with Dreisaitl and Timo. Farabee, Dubois, Yams, Vimelka and Nett. Pareko and Siegenthaler. Not too sure how they won the cup. Can't lie. I would say the man of the hour, but he's more like the man of NHL 23. David Krejci, point of game. Absolutely ridiculous. Jeff Skinner and Val... We're both plus 30s, and then Shen was a plus 32. And 56 points from Burnsy, that's pretty solid. Joseph Wall got sent to the Shadow Realm, apparently, but Katahat did okay. 35, 24, and 3 with 7 shutouts, 287 GAA. Brent Burns, our defensive leader with 56 points. Philip Ronick had 47, and then Hampus, 28. That's okay. Forwards, obviously we know David Krejci. Yeah, we already kind of looked at this. In the entire league, Freddie, a 922 save percentage. What a year for that guy. 251 GAA. Absolutely 
destroyed that crease. It's like a countdown too. Normally there's like a pretty big gap between the top goalies and the ones after, but 43, 42, 41, it's pretty close. An 82 apple season from Quinn for a total of 85 points. Carlson had 76, so he was nine up on the next closest defenseman. And Sidney the Kidney, 103. Dominated the league this time around. Dreisaitl had 95, ADB 94. Let's go look at some playoff stats, even though we weren't a part of them. Barzal would have been the Conn Smythe winner, most likely. 25 points in 19 games, but no, they didn't even make it to the finals. Only the conference finals. Buffalo Sabres, Mark Scheifele, 24 points. Also not the Conn Smythe winner. Nope. I guess it's Dreisaitl. Once again, it would be cool if a goalie won it. Carell swooped in there, took the Conn Smythe. Don't see it happening. Fazzy, a 925 save percentage. Can't say it's his fault they didn't win. Great playoff run from Noah Dobson. 19 points in 23 games. Sergachev, 19 points in 13. Wait, no. <laughs> that would be ridiculous. 13 points in 19 games. That's more like it. 0% chance we see any Avalanche logos here. But we're gonna look. Conn Smythe goes to Dubois. Okay. Any Avs logos? No. Well, there's your playoff tree. The Kraken went to seven in the conference finals and the finals. But before that, it was a pretty easy cakewalk for them. Well, if you guys have other draft ideas, be sure to leave it down below. Appreciate it. And on that note, I will see you soon.